Hello everyone. Welcome back to my video series. My name is Lloyd. Um, I changed my earphone. Uh, I used to use uh, Anchor's uh, Q20. Uh, it's quite bulky and it's blocking the whole entire thing. So right now I'm using a uh, Ugreen Hi-Tune X6. So hopefully the audio is fine in today recordings. Without further ado, uh, just want to uh, let everyone know today we are going to look into migrate your uh, your backup data from uh, the oldest repos into the new repo stories. Right. Uh, one of the uh, this is the most famous scenario whereby most people uh, are going to experience. Before we proceed, I uh, just want to show to everyone here. Uh, right now, I do store my backup data into I. Uh, this is the uh, repository whereby I use it to store all my backup data. Um, it's going to outrun our space, and I probably want to migrate to a new storage. Uh, so therefore, I created a new repository, uh, 200 gig on NVMe and another one on SSD. Well. Uh, without further ado, uh, let's go back to the on the Beam backup and replications console, right? So you can also view the same thing for as well. Currently, I'm going to run our space. Right? Uh, in order for you to uh, easily migrate your backup data to the new repositories, the first thing that you need to do is you need to uh, create a SOPR. Right now, I do have a scale backup repositories. Uh, inside here, I do consist of two repositories. Right now, uh, both of them is almost full as well. So before I proceed, uh, the first thing that I need to do is I need to add a new backup repo. So let's do it right now. I'm going to add a repo 1A. And this is NVMe. Okay, um, NVMe with the H drive. Okay, so I'm just going to select this drive. I already formatted as uh, RAFS with 64k uh, storage allocations. Right, so let's proceed. And here you go. Repo 1A. Um, so let me change this. Uh, just put it as Windows because uh, this is located on Windows Repo. Next, let's go to your scale of backup repositories. We are going to add this the new repo into here. Repo 1A. Then leave everything default. So from here, you're able to see that uh, I added a new repository. Uh, my backup will still continue uh, because I added the new repository. But one thing that we are going to do right now here is we would like to migrate and decommission these the small repositories, right? So all you need to do here is uh, from here you can select maintenance mode on repo one. Uh, once you set maintenance mode, that means if you if you do have any other backup job which is running, it will not put it into uh, repo one, right? And then uh, we do not want to uh, wait, right? And we want to evacuate all those backup data. That means from repo one, we want to move all the backup data into repo one a, okay? 
Vim will allow will help you to move those backup data by using evacuate. Uh, another method is uh, seal extend. Uh, seal extend means is uh, when you have a new backup job which is running, it will put it into the new repo, uh, and then your oldest backup data will be uh, removed once it's over the retentions. Right. So there's two options that you can select. And right now we do not want to wait, so therefore we select evacuate. Right. So it's going to evacuate. Yes, click yes. And it's going to start evacuation process, right? So all this is uh, seamless to us uh, without hu any human interruptions. And uh, this will probably take you uh, a bit longer time, but it did the job for you from one single click. Right, um, let's move to here and let's see whether uh, does he store the backup data or not. Right, so you've noticed from here, uh, it starts to copy and uh, it will put it into this particular repo. So what we're going to do next will be, uh, we are going to uh, pause this particular video uh, and we will resume back once it's complete everything 100%. What we are back. Our evacuation is completed. From here, you're able to see uh, our backup data. So, for example, I do have uh, Beam agents on Mac. I also got Armen backup. Uh, my virtual machines backup. Right. Hyper-V backups, VMware backups, agents backups, and then uh, NAS backup. Everything has been migrated, right? Uh, let's click close. Uh, let's go back to the patients. So notice here our I, uh, frankly speaking, is empty. Uh, it just consists the empty folders, but it doesn't matter. If you go to page, uh, this is where all the backup data is already migrated. Right, so there you go. Right. Well, uh, then the next thing is once uh, the whole entire thing is already migrated, uh, you will probably want to decon this. So what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to remove repo one from the beam console well, so that is how easy for you to do migrations of the backup data and also remove it as well uh, let's do a rescan okay, there you go it's already disappeared then from here you can just safely go and remove it All right, so that's all for today. Hopefully, hopefully you have a clear understanding on how to migrate your backup data from one repos to another repositories by using Beam. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you very much. See you next time.